want to make this super easy tire burst smoke effect in blender so let's get started first delete the default cube and import your rig car model then i've gone ahead and made this scene with a very basic car skid or drift animation now select the back tire of the car bring the cursor to selected object then press shift a add a cylinder set the alignment to view and scale it down around the size of the tire something like this now move to edit mode select the top edges and press x to delete them next select all the vertices and press shift d to duplicate them in edit mode then move the duplicate over to the other back tire back to object mode right Right click and choose set smooth and then parent this object to the car so when the car moves it moves along with it this will be our emitter object now for the domain press shift a add a cube and scale it quite large to cover the entire track something like this next while selecting the domain object go to the physics tab click on fluid set the type to domain 32 multiplied by 8 equals to 256 and 256 multiplied by 3 equals to 768 so we will keep 768 for the time scale we'll start the smoke at the point where the car begins drifting it occurs at frame 60 so i will start the smoke around frame 50 and add a keyframe then move to frame 70 keep the time scale to 1 and add a keyframe back to frame 50 change the time scale to around 0 and add a keyframe our smoke will start fading around frame 200 so add a keyframe and it stopped completely by frame 210 set the time scale to 0 and add a final keyframe now move to catch a setting set to end frame to match the timeline and change the catch a type to all and here take a good look these are all our domain settings next let's set up our emitter settings for that select the emitter object we created then back to physics tab set the type to flow the flow type to smoke and change the flow behavior to inflow also in our initial velocity and set the y axis value to 20 now once you're done with all the settings select the domain go back to the catch a section and click on bake all it will take 10 to 15 minutes to bake depending on the system performance once it bakes simply click on play button to see the final smoke simulation in action the animation will play and the smoke will start and gradually stop at the frame we have animated and that's it we are done with all the simulation settings now to make the smoke visible in the final render move to shader editor panel select the domain and add a principal volume node connect this volume output to the volume input of the output node you can change the smoke color from here then add a color ramp connect it to the density input then add a noise texture something like this this is the final node setup for the smoke material next for the wall lighting i have used this basic node setup with an evening sky as a ri and the z rotation value is set to minus 55 just to control the sun direction in the scene now i am using this final node setup in the compositing editor panel after that go to render properties expand the color amendment set the view transform to standard and look to none and that's it you're done your super rigid turbo effect or smoke simulation is ready to render in blender follow art of v for more